What's going on guys? Today we're going to take on a Blood Starved Beast in a Chalice Dungeon. Blood Starved Beast is a repeat boss. He was in an earlier part of the game. Today we're going to take him on with the Blade of Mercy and this character has got 50 in the skill. So really, I'm not really going to do any particular trick here. The strategy is going to be evade and strike when he's either just finished an attack or when I can get around the side. Don't want to take him on at the front. I think he's quite dangerous if he's standing in front of the, the kind of cone in front of his face. So I'm going to try my best to just be around the side. Spending too much time at the front there cost me a couple of uh, a couple of health files. So one problem with him is you're just coming around to do the flank and he heads off and moves out of range fairly quickly. I've got quite a short range weapon. So I need to be in close to him. However, Blade of Mercy is literally fantastic for eating through bosses, which is why I'm persisting with it. He telegraphs quite a lot of his attacks, particularly in the first part of the fight. He becomes a lot faster in the second part. So using the using his kind of telegraphed attacks to your advantage really helps. Now you can go off on these big combos, it really is better just being behind him. He doesn't tend to do too much to you when you are in behind him. So if you get the opportunity to get in behind, just start spamming a few R1 attacks is my advice. Like so. So We're nearing the part where he's going to start getting a bit more aggressive with us. As you can see, a few more sort of combos coming from him and a bit more aggressive. Always bring some antidotes with you, just to try and combat the build-up of, of poison. Really, just take your time with this boss. Just charging in all the time and attacking him is a very quick way to die. Go in, get a few hits, and move around the side. So there, that last combo I just did, 1400 from a from a combo. Another couple of hits there, okay, so 700 up to 1200. Really great weapon. Just keep evading, keep dodging, and get your hits in. Don't be afraid to take a few hint, hits, particularly when you get around the back. One good thing about this boss is he does actually give you quite long windows to heal. When you've when you've taken some damage like I did, then he wasn't just piling all over me. Like some, uh, take the abhorrent beast for example, never gives you a second to to regroup. Bloodstar beast does actually give you some bigger windows, even though he attacks in, in big flourishes. Now he's in the more aggressive part, so he is going to be a bit more relentless than he was at the start. But again, just keep focusing, getting around the side and the back, standing in front of his nose like that just gets you gets you hit. Move around the side, evade an attack, choose a moment, and get in there, and spam R1 a couple of times. So he's getting near the end now. This is the time when it's easiest to die because he is being more aggressive. So just keep taking your time. I went in there, it wasn't a window. Retreated back, heals, went in again. Just keep being patient. That's it. So, just charging in at him can always be a really bad idea. It, I much prefer letting him just come to me. Here we go. Probably about seven or eight hits from the end now. a lot. Hope that was helpful guys. Leave me a like or a comment below. Thanks.